So at some point, I asked myself what I believed about abortion. Am I pro-life? Am I pro-choice? Probably ought to know that. Just had an abortion. I should figure that out. <laughs> um, and I was looking at the abortion debate. In fact, after, after the abortion particularly, I was spending a lot of time looking at that. You know, once you, once you go through it, suddenly it kind of makes it a lot more interesting on a personal level. So I was reading paper after paper about abortion, lots of news articles, lots of, I don't know, pro-life arguments, pro-choice arguments. There's a lot of pro-life and pro-choice arguments out there. Not so many fence rider kind of positions. You're either very for it or you're very against it or you're not talking. And I'm, I'm, I'm a born fence rider. I love the most central position that I can find because I always have this feeling that when I find the exact center of an argument, that gives me a place that I can sit down and kind of look all the way around and see the entire argument as clearly as possible. And I like that. A lot of people think that, you know, being a fence rider is wishy-washy or weak. And for me, it's just like, this is home. I like sitting right in the middle and I like seeing everything around me. And uh, that's not an easy thing to do with the abortion debate. A lot of the comment sections for a lot of the articles and YouTube videos and just everything. If there's a comment section, you can usually find, you know, very, very extreme pro-choice comments and very, very extreme pro-life comments. Usually they say something to the effect of, you know, my way is the right way. And if they write a little bit more than that, it's usually my way is the right way. And also the people who don't understand that are crazy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that, that could be a pro-lifer writing that. It could be a pro-choice person writing that. It's pretty much the same no matter what. And uh, that's interesting. Um, I've watched a few abortion debates and I kind of sometimes get this gut feeling that everybody's debating so that they can win. And nobody actually seems to care much about solving or resolving any of their issues. They're just so driven to find some way to convince the other side that they're the ones who are right. And I don't think that's really how this sort of thing works. I think both sides have very valid arguments and I think it's really difficult for one side or the other to see the valid arguments that their opponents might have. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to look at the abortion debate and try to find the center of it. What's the centermost point? What does that look like? And if you're looking at it and saying, well, the other side's crazy, well, this might help you see what the other side is talking about. And if you're looking at it and saying the other side is just dead wrong, no exceptions, I think the debate is more gray than that. If you, if you are extremely pro-choice, you've lively heard the whole, you know, her body, her choice, period. I see that one a lot. It's like, it's like a mantra. <laughs> and I've looked at that and it's like, okay, her body, her choice, no exceptions, no matter what. What if she's pregnant with a little girl and she wants a little boy instead? Her body, her choice. She can just get rid of it and then get a new one, right? And that probably sounds horrible because it kind of is horrible. And the first thing that pops in my head is, well, why not? It's just an embryo. Why not? It's just a fetus. Why not? And so, you know, it's not always as okay, I think, as people like to think it is. They like to, I think a lot of pro-choicers like to leave a lot of freedom for, you know, any scenario that develops freedom for personal choice, which is important. But I think, I think sometimes, I think there are some arguments against um, just how far that freedom can be exercised. And I mean, that should be taken into consideration. And as for the pro-life people who are like, it's always a baby and we need to preserve life no matter what. <sighs> I, I saw a baby without a head. <laughs> I saw a baby that 
completely was growing and developing inside the womb without a head or arms or a heart. That was somebody's baby. I think sometimes, I think after seeing and researching a lot of fetal abnormalities and looking at a lot of dead babies, there can be a pro-choice argument to be made. And that's just on the basis of fetal abnormality itself. I mean, if you look at cases of impregnation, you know, via rape, it's kind of like, well, that's not pretty. Um, you know, people will argue that it's still a life and yes, it's, it's still a baby. But is there any morally right way to demand that a woman carry through with that pregnancy without her personal consent? Mm, I don't see it. I, I can't, I can't really justify that one. And I know there are some people who are very, very pro-life who say abortion is wrong no matter what. I want to look at abortions that occur when, when things are really, really gray. I want to look at, at abortions that might not actually be right and kind of explore what is right and what is wrong because you know, nobody seems comfortable doing that. So I think I'm going to start doing, you know, kind of on the side, a bunch of videos on, on the abortion debates and what the gray areas are and try to kind of highlight what is gray about the abortion topic itself. I want to see the grayest parts of it. Where's the most central area of this topic? I think that would be interesting. And hopefully if you're either very pro-life or very pro-choice, it will give you some perspective on what people who are arguing against you might be thinking and what they might actually believe. Because sometimes the people you argue against on a topic like this, they just sound like they're crazy. And I think you can't really know if you're right in an argument until you know what your opponent actually thinks and understand your opponent's motivations. So hopefully this helps. I'll start working on some videos and see what I come up with. and. If there's anything interesting that I miss, or if I have any kind of like huge logical error, I hope somebody points it out to me because I'd like to explore that too. Talk to you guys later.